An investigation is underway into whether Israeli forces blowing up the main drinking water reservoir in Rafah constitutes as a war crime. A soldier posted a video on social media showing the explosion with the caption, the destruction of Tel Sultan's water reservoir in honor of Shabbat. The order to blow up the facility allegedly came from Israeli army commanders, but senior officers reportedly never signed off. The water reserve is near a neighborhood close to areas Israel designated as humanitarian areas. The Geneva Convention bars the destruction of facilities essential for the survival of people during war, like drinking water stations. The Israeli army said it's probing the incident as a suspected violation of international law and may bring the case to Israel's military police for further investigation. The destruction of the water facility follows a worsening humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The UN announced last week polio has been detected in sewage in parts of Gaza as access to clean water and basic hygiene become more scarce. The IDF estimates around 20,000 Palestinians remain in Rafah, which once had around 1.4 million people sheltering there when Israel launched its offensive nearly three months ago. According to the Hamas-controlled Gaza Health Ministry, the death toll among Palestinians is approaching 40,000 since the war that started with the Hamas terror attack on October 7th. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. For more updates on Israel's war in Gaza and on the ongoing investigation, download the Straight Arrow News app.